Okay, so this is a follow-up video on how to clean the dirty flame sensor. This is an Amana 97% furnace. Um, it's actually in my house, and if you look inside here, you can see that the flame sensor is actually dirty. Right down there, see it's got all kinds of white chalky on it. It's kind of hard to see. So what I'm going to do before I actually pull that out and clean it is I'm going to go ahead and show you how it's reading before I clean it and after so stay tuned okay so I want to test my flame signal and what I use is I use my fluke meter and I'm gonna put that on milliamps here and what you do is I've taken two jumpers which uh, if you didn't have two jumpers like the average service guy I've got one I'm gonna connect one to one lead one to the next lead and then I'm going to hook one to the flame sensor wire and one to the flame sensor itself and I can actually measure that um, flame signal so see I've got this is where the flame signal is um, so I'm going to turn that on and we're going to read that right now So we're going to read the mill, uh, milliamps on this flame sensor while it's running. So we're reading one, 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 one DC milliamps. So. Typically we want that above two, three, sometimes five, just depending. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out and clean it. Typically it's gonna have a quarter inch or five sixteenths uh, size nut in there. See how it's all dirty on there. So I'm going to just take a piece of scotch bright shine that up. And I'm going to go ahead and put that back in the furnace. And then we'll measure it again and confirm. Add a little light in there. I'm going to show you how I measure this with the two jumpers on the meter. So I'm going to tighten that down and this is my flame sensor wire that actually goes on. I got a jumper on there to my meter and I'm going to put this other jumper that's connected to the other lead on the meter and we're going to turn it back on and we're going to measure it again and see what we're reading now that we've cleaned it. So, let's see what we got. All right, so now we're gonna read the milliamps on the meter again, since we cleaned it. First, getting ready to light. Okay. There's our flame signal. So a dirty flame signal is going to cause your furnace 
not to come on and stay running. Hope you like the video. I got another video. This is a 97% of mana variable speed furnace. So if you like, subscribe to my channel. If you're uh, not sure on something I did, go ahead and send me an email or comment uh, below. If you liked what I did, didn't like what I did, uh, let me know. I really appreciate it. Um, thanks for watching.